So I've not been talking in any videos for a while and I think it helps people when I do so I'm going to try and start doing it more and I thought I'd talk over this one to start with. So I've opened a blank document and I'm going to the stock studio to find a picture of a camera. I'm holding my finger on it and I'm dragging it over to the document and resizing it using the move tool. So now I need to cut out the camera and remove the background and I'm going to use the selection brush. I do have a video on this so I'll leave the link in the description. But I've gone to the selection persona, then the smart selection brush and then I'm basically painting that over the camera. And once I've done that, I need to add a mask layer to it, which will remove the background. And then deselect to remove the selection. And now I need to remove the lens, so I'm going back to the selection persona and I'm using the elliptical marquee tool. And I'm holding my finger on the screen and dragging out, which will make a circle. And when I press on the screen with my other finger, it will make a perfect circle. And then I'm clicking on the move tool and dragging the circle to the lens and resizing it to fit by dragging the corners. And once it's in place, I'm going back to the photo persona and I'm using the erase tool to remove the lens and then deselect. I'm then deleting the pixel layer because I'm not really sure why I added that in the first place. Then I'm going back to the stock studio and I'm typing in road. And again, I'm dragging that picture over. And then I'm placing the road under the camera and then I'm resizing it to fit the document. So now I'm just positioning the camera where I want it to be, but I want to be able to see the end of the road and the hill through the lens. So I'm hiding the camera for now. And then I'm duplicating the road and using the move tool, I'm dragging the top road down so I can see the hill through the lens. And now I need to blend the two pictures of the road together to become one. So I'm adding a mask layer to the top image. And then I'm using the paintbrush tool with the colour on black. And I'm removing some of that image to blend them both together. And then I'm duplicating that top image, the one with the mask layer added and I'm going to make a selection around some of the road. So I'm zooming in, I'm using the pen tool and I'm making the selection very close to the white line on the road. And then to turn that into a selection, I'm clicking the button that says to selection at the bottom. And then I'm adding a mask layer and that will remove everything outside of the selection. I'm now moving that camera layer to sit underneath the road layer. And because I cut out that bit of the road, it's now gonna be able to go on top of the camera, if that makes sense. And I'm adding a mask layer to the camera. But I'm first going over to the move tool and I'm going to move the camera around a little bit. And then I'm going back to that mask layer. And now I've gone to the brush tool and I'm changing the brush to a grass brush. And I'm going to remove some of the bottom of the camera to help it blend into the grass a bit more. And then I'm changing the brush to a leafy brush and I'm removing some of the edges of the camera so it blends into the trees.
Now I'm clicking on more at the bottom and then I'm going to dynamics and I'm changing the rotation to random which just means it's going to change the rotation of the brush at random so all the leaves won't be going in the same direction. Now I'm adding a pixel layer and I'm dragging that onto the camera and I'm changing my brush back to a basic round brush and I've lowered the hardness to around 3%, the flow to around 34% and the opacity to around 95% and all I'm doing is adding in some shadow so I'm painting with black around the edges of the camera. And then I'm bringing down the opacity so it's not as harsh. And now I'm basically doing the same thing but I'm making the brush smaller and I'm adding more detailed shadow to the edges of the camera which will help to create a fade of the shadow. And I'm changing the blend mode to multiply and then I've lowered the opacity to around 52%. Now I've added a curves adjustment and this is at the top of the layers so it's going to affect the whole picture and I'm bringing the top right corner down which will bring the brightness down and I'm bringing the bottom left point up which will make the picture a bit brighter and reduce the contrast and then I'm moving over to the blue channel and I'm bringing the top right corner down which will bring some yellow into the highlights and the bottom left corner up which will bring some blue into the shadows. I've then moved to the red channel and I'm bringing the top right corner over to the left which will bring some reds into the highlights and then by moving the bottom left one to the right it will bring some green into the shadows but I've not really moved that too much so you don't really need to worry about it. And then go into the filters and I'm going to blurs and I'm adding a depth of field blur. And then I'm going back to the filters because I forgot to turn on add live filters which basically just means the filter you add is its own layer so you can edit it again later on. And I'm then going back because I forgot to click on the depth of field layer which now you'll see in the layers and I have to drag that to the top. So I'm dragging out the corners to make it bigger and I want the centre circle to be focused on the camera. And then I'm bringing up the clarity, vibrance and radius. So the clarity is on around 2%, the vibrance is 8% and the radius is 9.7. And then I'm turning on protect alpha. And I don't really know what it means but from what I've seen it keeps the edges of the document from getting distorted. I'm then adding a noise filter because I like to add a little bit of green in my pictures lately and I'm dragging that to the top and I'm bringing up the intensity to around 5%. I'm going back to the depth of field blur by tapping on it twice and I'm bringing the radius down to around 4.5. And that's it, thanks for watching and if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe because it really supports my channel and I'm sorry it's been so long since I've talked in any videos and I hope this helped.